Let's subtract 5 from 433. So if we count back 5 from 433, we get 432, 431, 430, 429, 428. So 433 subtract 5 equals 428. Or if we do the same question using bridging, we know that if we're on 433, we can subtract the 3 units to get 430, and then subtract another 2 to get 428. So if we've subtracted 3, then subtracted another 2, we've subtracted 5 altogether, so 433 subtract 5 equals 428. Now we have 604 minus 7. So if we count back 7 from 604, we get 603, 602, 601, 600, 599. So when we subtract 1 from a multiple of 100, you have the previous 199 units. 598, 597. So we've subtracted 7 from 604 to get 597. And again, we could use bridging to get the answer more quickly. How could we use bridging here? Well, if we're on 604, our previous multiple of 10 is 600. So subtracting 4 takes us to 600. And then, if we subtract it another 3, that means we've subtracted 7 altogether. And that gives us our answer of 597. Now pause the video and see if you can answer 206 take away 7. So if we count back 7 from 206, we get 205, 204, 203, 202, 201, 200, and 199. So 206 take away 7 equals 199. But we can answer this question more quickly if we use bridging. So if we're on 206, our previous multiple of 10 is 200, so we can subtract 6 to get 200, and then subtract another 1, so we've subtracted 7 altogether, and that gives us our answer, 199. 